So I'm starting off this FSI tutorial starting off with exporting a previously made geometry, which is the Naka 6515. As you can see, there's only one solid body. And for FSI, we need actually the wing to be a solid body itself. Here we create a new workbench file and we're adding in the fluent flow and static structural. In the fluent flow we're going to import the geometry we exported earlier. It's also good to rename the project components. I just have to go to where you exported the file. Here we're changing the preserved tool bodies so that the wing becomes a solid body itself. Because in static structural we need to suppress the flow field. As you can see, there's two bodies. In fluent flow, we need to suppress the wing so that the airfoil hits the negative space. For meshing, uh, you can choose as much elements as you need in terms of your body. On our first try, it's not fine enough, the mesh. So we're going to use uh, a number of divisions on the edge.
This will make the interior of the wing very fine. Check the mesh here. Yeah, the interior is looking a lot better than previously. For our case, we're going to be using a steady flow and we're going to choose the viscous K omega model. For length, that's our cord length, and area is the area of the wing. For our inlet velocity, we're choosing 20 meters per second, coming from the X direction from the inlet. For the report definitions, we want to capture the drag coefficient and lift coefficient. So right here we're creating the output parameters. Make sure for the wall zones, choose your body. For my case, it's going to be the wing. Next, we're going to initialize. Using the standard initialization uh, calculated from the inlet, we just check our inlet parameters and then click initialize. So in run calculation, we're gonna change the iterations to 150. For bigger models, you may have to choose larger but for our case, I know that this converges.
So in Mesh, make sure to choose the Physics Preference as CFD. Choose your particular element size. Right here, I'm just checking the mesh, making sure it's fine enough for our details. So here, right-click the imported load and select pressure. Also, the maximal principal stress. And max shear stress. Now we just hit solve. As you can see, we got our solution. And we have all of these results. In the parameters, you can change all of the twisting angle, the angle of attack, lap deflection, whatever it is. And then you can calculate these results. So thank you guys for watching. There's a little bit about FSI, those structural interactions. So feel free to check out my other videos. And yeah, we'll probably do more of these.